you. This is an absolutely stunning butter sculpture. Thank you. So uh, let's tweet a picture of that. Lock that caucus gore down. Yeah. And then uh, let's find a refrigerator to put that in. You know, uh, butter doesn't need to be refrigerated. It can be unrefrigerated or refrigerated. So. That's not true. I think it's like a fruit that way. No. It's... So uh, these rumors, right? I'm getting Maddox. What are you getting? I'm, I'm not getting a huge amount, if I'm being honest. Hey, Richard, no offense. I'm not taken. You're a catastrophe. Okay. And I'm going back to the hotel. Yeah, absolutely. I, what should I tell these people? Oh, Gary just usually makes up an excuse. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the vice president has to step out for a moment to take a phone call with a senator. Mm. He's having a big problem. Um, I, it's... Uh, I will be back very soon. Thank you so much. Okay? <laughs> Listen, you need to get me some Advil, because I got some people in here, okay? Yeah, consider it done. Yeah. Uh, do you have a purpose on water? Because I'm all about Fiji. Uh, your dress is open. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, sadly, uh, the vice president will not be back to finish the signing. Uh, the senator, uh, who I mentioned earlier, uh, his problems have become even bigger. You need me help with your campaign. I am real good in a high-pressure situation. Really? In what sense, good? Well, I was all over that book line thing. Yeah, I'll tell you what, get the driver to turn the air conditioning on, okay? Because I'm boiling up here. I can do that. How do I do that? Oh, I see you here on this sad day. Okay, that's Isaac Denisoff from Change.org. She hates him. This way, ma'am, you hate him. Oh, yeah, that's the first one you've got right today. He's a douche. All right, we gotta find Erickson. Uh, I'll know when I see him. I never forget a JPEG. Madam Vice President. Yes. Uh, I was Rick's nephew. I'm are you so, um, kidding me? Oh. This is Kyle Gill's no. nephew. Oh. If they tell her who they are, you don't have to say anything. All right, Richard. Listen, I want to tell you. No. For... Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Until tomorrow. What? Tomorrow? Book tour day six. Cedar Rapids. Here we come. Oh Jesus Christ! I hate politics. Now let's. Work hard and win this puppy, yeah? All right. Oh, hi. Hi, hello again. Remember us? Please remind me of the names. Uh, Kelly. Richard, split. That's right. I had a camera. Mm -hmm. We just got here. Yeah, I saw the bat signal. Mm -hmm. Dynamic duo came in. <laughs> bat Batman, boy wonder. Young la uh, lady, lady wonder. wonder. Yep, we're grateful to have you. Okay. So thank you. So all what should we do? We can uh, hit the phones real hard. Yeah. Oh, I'll hit the phones until I have a sore throat and a hot ear. Yeah. You know, I tend to rock a hands free myself. You know. That's great. Yeah. Then hit the phones. Okay. Great. Um, who should we call? Yeah, we really need like a list. Ask your supervisor. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, who is our supervisor? You know, we can find that on our own. Yeah, I can. That's easy to find out. You've been in uh, touch with my. Yeah, uh, uh, men's toilet thing. is busted. So just, here we are. <laughs> Wow, here you are. See, now, I thought that I left you 750 miles ago. Ma'am, I'm going to follow you wherever you go, all right? I'm going to be like a, like a Disney animal. Are you going on the Coast Guard boat? Ah, well, I learned to swim especially, so. No, I meant, um, oh, my God, what is your name? I'm so sorry. It starts with a K. No, can you just tell me? I don't it's know. Kelly. Kelly, right. So you're coming on the boat. That's why you have the camera. And so then, Richard, you're going to need to stay here. Well, okay, well, you're in good hands. Kelly and I go way back. She's like a... Like another me. This doesn't work. Good. A coffee? Skinny latte. Americano triple shot. How about uh, any sides? Maybe a sandwich? I took a protein bar. I'm allergic to macadamia nuts. Got it. No deadly macadamias for Mr. Erickson. Almond croissant, sparkling water. I'll take a water, too. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab a pen and paper. Let me write this down. Or I will remember it using my brain. I've got a pretty good one. Uh, Illinois Institute of Technology, so. I'm sorry, was that sparkling or still water? And what kind of croissant? I definitely remember the rest. He just quit being Thornhill's campaign manager. Wonder what he'll do next. He's the best campaign manager in America. One of them. I mean, he could have any job he wants. Yeah. He could have your job. You know, I'm saying all this out loud, and I probably shouldn't be. Did you find me an office? No, but I scouted you this chair. And if you stand on it just like so, you can get Wi-Fi. How's it going, Mr. Genius Bar over there? Oh, he's eager and hardworking and never complains, and every night I dream of drowning him. How'd you like to get rid of him? God, yes. Richard, apparently, is the assistant's assistant. Does that mean, like, he's the epitome of an assistant, or he's just an assistant's assistant? First one. And, Richard, how would you like to work right here in the White House for the Jonah Ryan? Work in the White House? Yeah. <laughs> Am I being punked? <laughs> is this hazing? <laughs> Happened to my brother once. He did not handle it well. 
All right, well, Jonah, there you go. You now have someone under you. Welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. Oh, sir. I like that. I'll get used to that. Keep doing it. Yes, yes sir. Oh, look. There it is again. That's twice. Come with me. Now, through this door is the Oval Office. Fudge me. No. Yeah. You are like the coolest guy I ever met. Uh, what are you guys doing right now? Uh, we're working on the Veep's uh, walk-on music for tonight. The Police. Law and Order mixed with very mild reggae. It's like a comforting balance. Hey, Jonah, how would you like to be a little more involved tonight? You know, supervise the balloons, the streamers, the fireworks? All right. Yeah. You know I got an eye for that. That's why I'm such a good photographer. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I love fireworks, the noise, the, the lights, mostly those aspects. One, two, three, four. Hit me with the plosives. Bring back my pig. I'm happy with that. Yeah, That's that good. sounds great. I don't want to pat myself on the back. This is a great idea on my part. You know, getting out of the office, going on the campaign trail. Yeah, help you forget about being molested. That's loud. I'm sorry. Do I think that I'd run for Congress? Uh, I'm, well, it's on my vision board as, you know, a to-do. You can't change the music. It's all queued up with the light show. Fuck the light show, Jonah, okay? He's the vice president, not the new Lexus. Fuck the light yeah, show? Yeah, uh, it. Be careful this, Mr. Ryan. It burns your hand even through the corrugated sleeve. Can you do this? Is there a way to change Doyle's music without screwing up the lights? Oh, absolutely. Great. Well, I'm not sure, but positivity is the first step. Love it. Change to what? Doesn't I matter. honestly have no idea. Just, what do you have on your phone? Well, it's mostly self-help audio books and relaxation tapes. I'm quite an anxious man. Oh, you know what? I've got movie themes. I'll cue Eye of the Tiger. OK, guys, guys, Eye of the Tiger? It's good. It's good. Do it, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ooh. vice president of the United States Oh, what? I don't know what's happened. You know, you know. I, I usually use a Mac, so it's just Windows 8's fault of anybody. Families first. We'll break that link. If everybody He's cares, nailing it. Like Streisand hitting a high C. Jonah. Uh, get him to stop. Get him to stop talking. I'm not saying I don't condemn what happened. I do. Condemnation on its own. What the fuck are you doing? It looks like you're telling him to straighten his tie. If if we're gonna take anything. Maybe we, we could play some ex music or maybe push the button that drops the balloons. Shit, that's a great idea. Drop the balloons. Do we have balloons? No, that was just an example. Why the fuck did you bring up balloons if we don't have that? Well, it's just, I was brainstorming. Richard is a great man. He is a great man and a good friend. He should never be in charge of anything. Richard T. Split. Don't know why I said T. My middle name's John. Listen, you guys, uh, you want to ride back to D.C.? It was so great to hear some stories from the front line, you know. I I'd love to, but do I have any meetings? No, no. Are you sure there aren't any? Oh, uh, uh, there was one. Okay, good. Cancel it. Hmm? Hope it wasn't important. Oh, I wasn't. Wow, Freddie Wallace, hmm? Hall of Famer, Mr. Gay NBA. In my family, basketball is a religion. Also, Catholicism. That's actually the main one. You've lived a very interesting life. You should write your memoirs. I was Veep. They pulled other candidates. Fucked me in my slack old ass. Sound like a bestseller? I'd read it. I'd read anything, though. I'd love to read, you know? It's... Veep Doyle's a lame duck. You know what you do with lame animals? Care for them. They're... You shoot them dead. Oh, no, yeah, I gotcha. Kinder in the long run, actually. Uh, Mr. Ryan, so they were out of tuna melts, so I improvised, and I got you this lobster curry roll. All right, look, zip it, Jeeves. I'm in the middle of firing your boss. Wow, over the campaign data thing? What? The I care mailer? Tell me now, asshole. Hmm. Well, that mailer was deliberately directed at recently bereaved parents. Yogi and Boo Boo, you say nothing to anyone, you understand me? Yes. Well, obviously you don't because you just fucking spoke. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna call my good friend Amy Brookheimer. She's the president's campaign manager. She and I are closer than two fat guys in an elevator. This is not a big deal. You I know, think. we're building off that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give her a call too. We used to date, so I know we're inside now. You know, I used to work for Ames. In fact, I call her Ames for short, which actually is long for Amy. To be honest, you guys, I think you're both tremendous, so. Holy shit. Amy's gone. Holy shit, that's insane. Well, I'm getting the same thing, guys. Oh, you know what, maybe we're getting the same text message? Oh yeah, we are. No, 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 ah! That's Amy. Shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, what a shame. But she used this finger to wipe your tears. Whoa. No, 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 no. Dan, get out of my car. Okay, where's Richard? Okay, new rule in the cube. If your name begins with D, you need to shut the fuck up immediately. Oh, I'm fine, because my name begins with an R. 
Not if we shorten it to dick. Well, I mean... Hello. Oh, pleased to meet you. Ruth Forrester. Pleasure. Jonah Ryan. This is my personal assistant, Richard Splett. Splett? Splett. Ah, uh, Splett. Oh, is this man your attorney? Uh, no. Not technically. Let's go. Right now. Teddy can't hurt you now. I'm not worried about Teddy. I'm worried about you. Jesus fucking Christ. You all look like me. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah. I feel like I got felt up again, but this time by the law. Just tell me what I'm doing. Well, you're dealing with the emotional fallout. Today, of sexual... Richard. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, uh, you have a 4.30 meeting with Congressman Scaller. Okay, that's in Georgetown, right? So we should Uber? Oh, yeah. No, Uber. That makes the most sense, sir. Richard, I don't look like a middle-aged woman, do I? No, sir. Well, you do have that one purple shirt that looks a bit blousey, but... Oh, we got Donald coming in three minutes. Title IV, Section 7, negates the entire point of the legislation. How did they write this thing? Get drunk and tape crayons to their feet? Well, what if I told you that was gone? But it isn't gone, is it? Uh, no, sir, it's, it's still there. But what if it was gone? Oh, no, that's a good point. Thank you. Uh, sir, can I ask you how you're going to vote today? No. Is that no isn't a can't ask you or no isn't a... Hello. Hi. Is this a joke? I, I'm sorry? Honestly, why are you here? I'm collating agency responses. And how tall are you? I, 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 I am sorry, ma'am. A number of tall women were molested, and Mr. Ryan was one of them. <laughs> she is playing you like a cheap... Uh, you got careful. Like an Xbox. Who else was aware of this during your time at the White House? I, uh, I also uh, saw it. Uh, I, can't stop, I can't stop thinking about it. It's, uh, you know, it's, like, it's like a bell. It can't be unrung. Where did you see it happen? Uh, it was around the spheres. I meant what area of the workplace? Oh, yes. No, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, it, uh, it was in, in a hallway, uh, same time as Dan. Uh, in fact, he was uh, coming to fire Jonah as a scapegoat for the child mortality data breach. Oh. Okay. Um, there's no further questions. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. wait. Can, you, can you repeat that, Mr. Splett? Uh, actually, I'd like to plead the fifth. Uh, if I'd like to plead you know the fifth, what? please. We're, we're can you repeat what you just said, Mr. Splett? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, I'd like to plead the fifth. Before that. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think I mistakenly said that uh, Dan was scapegoating Jonah for the child mortality data breach. Please raise your right hand. Your right hand. Sorry, sir. I was practicing in the mirror. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Absolutely. Excited to do it. Mrs. Ryan, these old Thanksgiving photos are priceless. Oh, shit. Wow, that is some overbite. It's like a, like a were-rabbit. Well, I was advanced for my age. I had all my adult teeth by age four. I didn't know children still wore leashes at this age. Hey, who is this man? Um, Richard Splett? Is it Sp Splett? Splett. Yeah. Oh. The Jonah Ryan story. Chapter five. The house kneels before the fucking J-man. I'm running for Congress. Oh my God, that's great. Uh, actual Congress or some fancy league Congress? Of course, up against the Widow Sherman, it's gonna be like climbing Mount McKinley with your balls stapled to a piano. Ain't a challenge been invented Jonah Ryan can't do. Ice bucket challenge, you back out of that. Ice bucket challenge can suck my dick. Well, it did raise a lot of awareness for whatever ALS is. Jonah. Congratulations, sir. May I be the first to join your campaign? Absolutely, chief of staff. Well, please let me earn it. There will be a vetting process. This is Richard Split, and I'm here to say you should leave a message for me every day. Richard, come back. You know. Is everybody's cell phone off? This is like that famous scene from the movie Heat. You know, uh, De Niro and uh, uh, Brenneman. <sighs> this thing about that scene gives me goosebumps. If the meeting's still going on, who's with Whitman? Richard. Oh, thank God. Mr. Splat, where is Bob Bradley? Honestly, I was gonna ask you that. Do you mind if I get a picture with you for my blog? Let's talk about Splat. Tell the Eagle it was great to see him. And if you do happen to find as much as one new vote, we'll see you in court. Thank you. Holy bacon double Asperger's, how did you do that? Sorry, what? Amy, what are your top five favorite De Niro movies? And you can't say Meet the Parents because that's automatically number one. I hitched my wagon to a shooting star named Jonah Ryan. Well, I, maybe I should say Comet because shooting stars burn out and he never will. The only downside is that, uh, you know, I'll probably have to miss my Gilbert and Sullivan Society annual show. You know, opera is my passion. If you want to know who we are, we are gentlemen of Japan. Whoa, I'm sorry. What are you doing here? I'm here to be your new campaign manager. 
as director of communication, I should have been alerted to this. And by the way, your banner makes it look like your name is John H. Ryan, so great job, communications mm -hmm. department. I'm taking mm -hmm. this office. And what is it that you bring to the Ryan campaign? Uh, oftentimes coffee, donuts. I'll bring loose leaf paper, extra shoelaces. You'd be surprised how you could need a shoelace and no one has one. Right, but what are the intangible things that you bring? Yeah, oh, um, intangible things, like, like spirit? Yes, for example. That, that was my answer. It's my personality that has gotten us this far. No, I am the one who got us this far, you sentient anima. All right, Mrs. Sherman, same question. I hereby solemnly promise to never vote to raise the debt ceiling without budgetary offsets. Lord knows I stick to my grocery budget every week. Mother Mary dry humping a pillow, that is what I call natural talent. What was your name again? Uh, Judy Sherman. Oh, come on, Richard's only winning because he gets to be the easier person and I have to be me. All right, Judy, pretend to be Jonah. Richard's not gonna get the subtleties of Judy. Shut the fuck up and move! I'd have to agree with Mrs. Sherman here on the fiscal responsibility. In fact, teacher, allow me to present you with this apple. Feel my dick. I am rock hard for you right now, mister. You think I'm kidding? Feel it. Jesus Christ, Jonah, you grew up here. How do you not know this shit? I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to learn it in the second grade, but my teacher was a fucking bitch. Jonah, watch your language. All right, well, obviously, Erickson had trackers at the event. Richard, who do we have tracking the widow? Nobody. Then go out there and buy a camera and videotape everything she does. Do you want 4K or 1080p? Buy any okay. fucking yeah. camera. No, you no, and I'm I have right. to talk. If you were like 10% less black, I could make you president. Thank you. A lot of people seem to find Jonah very authentic. Can you expand on that? Uh, well, I'm glad that's working. Tonight we've got the bowling alley appearance and we can't have any more gaffes. I got it. I got it. <laughs> the widow saw me filming her and she got mad. She called me some truly awful things. Oh, thank you, Satan. I think this is a game changer. <laughs> for coming oh my god i got it i think i got it you know i think i see what happened there richard you good boy <laughs> uh, i went to turn it on but it was already on so i turned it off then i went to turn it off but it already was off so i turned it on oh, i had such plans for you well the latest poll numbers are in uh, and you've fallen 20 points behind the widow sherman we have to keep you away from people but good news is, is that you're only three points behind John H. Ryan, whoever that is. Where do you see yourself in the future? Uh, the possibilities are unlimited. You know, but Congress and Senate, then, uh, you know, dare I say, commissioner of the UFC. I do want to open a, uh, an ice cream sandwich shop. Tom Petty says we can't use Won't Back Down anymore. Okay, well, fuck him if he thinks I'm going to back down. That's like the whole point of the song. Uh, we got the okay from Gary Glitter, but he's in jail for child rape, so maybe not the first choice. Hello there. I'm Jonah Ryan. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, mother cunt. Piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. I think the problem is that you lack upper body strength. Worked fine. You're a different species. One that I hope gets struck from the earth. Fuck Jonah me, Ryan. Amadeus. Can't even see the guy that Jonah's yelling at. God. Polly's not gonna think that I was yelling at her, will she? Wait a second, Richard, tell me you have that from the other angle. Oh, definitely. Hey, Jonah, I'll get a uh, child size 12, please. What are you doing here? Thank you. Thank well, you. I don't know what happened there. You did this literally the exact, exact same thing. Oh yeah, you know what, you're right. I did the exact same thing. All the photos of you with the Washington elite. Are there any pictures where the president isn't yelling at me? As far as I can tell, no such picture exists in the known universe. Oh, also, we gotta get some eye candy in here, you know? Hire some hot interns. Personal sacrifices that I've made, uh, so I haven't been able to work as much on my puzzles, so a bunch of uncompleted puzzles on my counter and stuff. Has the vote started yet? Uh, yes, Delaware just voted. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, you gotta come get me. Okay, uh, just drop a pin in Apple Maps and I then- I don't know how to drop a fucking pin. Well, it's a really intuitive feature. Uh, do you have iOS 9.2.3? Yeah, shut up, bring me a change of clothes and come and get me. <laughs> Morning! Shut the fuck up, Richard. Well, you can't scream that in this neighborhood. Jesus, Richard, Minnesota. please drive faster. But maybe if you held the camera, that would be I'm not going to hold the camera, Richard. How would I be on the camera? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Richard, you could have killed me. Can't you do two simple things at once? Well, just think I didn't hit those school children. Who gives a fuck about them? Go, go. Well, actually, the, the car won't start, so like, maybe call an Uber. We can't call an Uber. I've been banned for life because I have a low rating. Yellow. Hey, how far out are you? Oh, we're at security. 
get the hunchback of Notre Hampshire like, down to the floor. Uh, well, we've reached a little bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, I'd say even more of a kerfuffle than like a, like a snafu approaching Quagmire. Ryan, just Google me. Congressman Ryan's office. Congressman Ryan's office. Hello. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning, sir. Congressman Ryan's office. Richard, who are these dudes? Oh, these are the new interns. What? That's Colt. He's from UVA, played the cross. Richard, I told you to get hot interns. Sir, by any objective standards, Colt, Brady, and Mason are unequivocally hot and not not. Made you a latte. Uh, thank you. Mm. Oh my god, this coffee is exceptional. Thanks. Can we please keep him? Yeah, absolutely. Well, ma'am, we need to be sure that when we get on no, the ground... No, shut up, Ken. You already lost Nevada for me once. Nevada. Ben, what do we do? What uh, do we we do? need to get a hold of our people in, in Nevada. Don't, don't. Well, the vast majority of Nevada voting is done by machine. Uh, once the Nevada Secretary of State certifies the count, we'll then have 72 hours to request a recount. Uh, at that point, 5% of the precincts will be selected, and if there's a discrepancy of more than 1%, a full hand recount will be requested. I actually did my uh, doctorate in recount procedures in the West. Excellent work, Richard. Richard works for me. You have a doctorate? Two. Uh, constitutional law and veterinary medicine, which was my fallback. But you were getting my coffee. Which is much harder, because, you know, you have so many different moods. You know, like a half-calf, a full-calf, macchiato. Macchia. Macchiato. <laughs> okay, Richard, you are going to be my recount specialist. Jonah, you're working for Richard. Wait, what? Amy? Jonah, with me, please. How dare she put you in charge of me? It's an outrage is what it is. It is an outrage. You know? She's Uncle Dursley, and she's got the great wizard Harry Potter living under the staircase. Actually, I'm sorry, that lumbar support goes with this chair. Richard, what's this? You know Jonah. Uh, he works for me. Uh, in fact, you two used to date, but you never got over. All right, get out. I'm out. Take that cushion with you. That is disgusting. Actually, it goes with the seat, so it should probably stay. I think Richard's talents are best served in a number two position. As chief of staff, uh, I would say that I, I am in charge, like, you know, like a second, I'm, I'm like the Spock to Captain Kirk, you know? Is, is he second in command? I think he's second in command, so in that case, uh, yes. Is he second in command? He is, because then his third is Bones. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, we're here because uh, your ballot was disqualified because your signature didn't match. Okay, well, fool with that one. <laughs> That's not how I would have done it if I was in charge. Uh, well, how would you have done it? I don't know. I can't teach how I do it. Can Paul McCartney teach Kid Rock how to be a good songwriter? I mean, that's a bad example, Kid Rock rules, but... His second signature was when Carl had his stroke. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I mean, well, fantastic for us, because it, it means that his uh, vote for President Meyer is legitimate. Could he testify to that? I'm sorry, he's passed. Sorry. You know, you should read uh, C.S. Lewis's book on grief. It's not as fun as the Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe series, but it's still pretty good. Ma'am, um, hi. Jonah Ryan, Senior Deputy Recount Strategist for the Meyer Campaign. Would it be all right if we waited for your husband inside? I think I have a small blister. Sorry. Allah shalom. Hebrew. Uh, maybe we, you should, you should uh, put on your regular shoes for a little bit? You know what? I am sick of your micromanaging bullshit. But if you insist, yes, I will stop by the hotel. And yeah, we can do that. It's a two minute walk. Oh, okay. sorry, two miles. <laughs> so, got that. Welcome to Nevada. Everybody settle in, make yourselves comfortable. Members of the Meyer James and O'Brien Montez campaign, let's talk ground rules. Now, most of the voting here is touch screen, so we can't do more than retabulate those totals. Except. You could recount the voter verified paper audit trails. Sometimes there are big discrepancies. Sir, in that case, we motion. On the other hand, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled in Crowley v. Nevada that you don't have to recount the paper audit trails in local elections. That's Crowley versus Nevada. Uh, that's Crowley? Actually, you know what? I could email you. Or, you know, you could email me at uh, splet2 at spletnet.net. Splet one's my father. I mean, I'll be sad to see him go, but it'll be nice to get my hands on that handle, you know. I didn't quite catch all much. your questions. We had a pretty big setback in there. We have to go very late for another appointment. Thank you very much, everybody. What is wrong with you, you Paddington bear looking fuck? Oh, hey, Richard. Oh, Madam President. Uh, I'm just uh, finishing packing up Congressman Ryan's old office. I have to do it now because it's the last night before. Yeah. I know what it's the last night before of. You know about Colt's birthday dinner? It's good, isn't it? It's very, very, very good. I nice. should have relied on you more, Richard. I mean, really, seriously, you're one of the good ones. Oh, well, thank you, Madam President. I mean, if I had had a hundred Richards, who knows what I could have done? Well, I mean, probably a lot. Or it could turn out like one of those Twilight Zone scenarios where we all murder each other. 
I don't even remember how to drive. I need a wallet. Probably. And stamps. I've got to get stamps. Yeah. If I was a little girl and you said to me, what do you want to do? I would have said, please, can I be president? And then it turned out to be the, the 12 loneliest months <laughs> of my life. My auntie used to talk about loneliness like that. Okay, so right, you know that. Yeah, you know. We were uh, pretty, pretty close, especially because my, my, my mother was so much older. Old enough to be my grandmother, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe my auntie was actually my real mother, and my mother was actually my grandmother. Ah, wow, that's starting to make a whole lot of sense. Everybody knew about it but me, too. Oh, are we praying, ma'am? No, I'm just going to okay. lie down. Congressman Diaz said the optics of you in the Bronx are really good. Okay, well then maybe I can host Showtime at the Apollo next I'll week. I'll check on that. No, don't. We can't do anything about AIDS. Who are you, Ronald Reagan? Hi, everyone. Hi, darling. Uh, your daughter's here to see you. How are oh. you, sweetie? Uh, thank you. Ma'am, the Apollo is a soft pass. Okay, can I have a moment with my daughter? Yep. Catherine, honey. Oh, hey, where's... Hey, Richard? Uh, yes, ma'am. What's going on with the speeches? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, we have the national auto dealers for 100000 You've got to be kidding me. You call those people back and you tell them that I was the first female president of the United States and I will not work for less than 87 cents on the dollar. Yes, ma'am. And tell them I'll stand at a glass podium and wear a short skirt. Oh. Richard. Oh, hi, Gary. Uh, this is now's not a good time. Is that Richard? Excuse Richard, me. come in. Hey, what's going on with Omaha, by the way? Oh, yes. Uh, Walter Pallenberg's jet is unavailable because he's taking it on a fuck tour of South America. Okay. Of course. It's weird that his assistant told me that. It's hey, Marjorie, I want to add something to the fund, sort of to balance out the AIDS. Something fun. Ooh, how about vets for pets? I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. Yeah, or, I don't know, stuttering? This is as impromptu as a colonoscopy, except with quadruple the assholes. Are you running from something scary, man? No, Richard, you slow down. It'll look like I'm not running. Gary, you go fast. Yep. Oh, no, that's too fast. OK, folks, listen up. I want a library. <sighs> I guess I could give up the gift wrapping room. Mm. I'm the only living president who doesn't have one. And you want to know why that is? Because you served less than one year? No. I was the first woman vice president, and America cannot forget that. Never forget. Oh, sorry, that's a Holocaust. Totally forgot. I need a monument to Selena Meyer. An institution. Selena Meyer belongs in an institution. It was a spa. Let's do this. Oh, you know what? We're on an airplane. I know that. We start lining up architects. I want to talk to every Tom, Dick, and Geary out there. Maybe a female I candidate. Well, we're not redoing a kitchen here, you know? Richard? Uh, I've been standing here the entire time, ma'am. Just trying to keep still in case I'm in the painting. No, you're not in the painting. Come here. So listen, in terms of the library, I really want to have a reflecting pool. Some place for people to come and sit and reflect on what this cocksuck of a country did to me. Uh, my pen's just out of ink. Let's go. I'm just going to okay. scratch Fun. it into the I'm paper and kind of go forth. back over and trace I'm over and see what I write for, like in a suspense okay. movie. Uh, also, Good. we heard back from Yale, and oh. their response was emphatic. It's a no. <gasps> What did Yale say? What did they say exactly? They said the Sherman Tans pardon was unsavory and not in line with the values of Yale. Uh, then they asked for a donation to their annual fund. How much did we send? Okay, who else do we know that went to Yale that can help us well, out? I did. Uh, I oh. called my RA. We're still pretty close. Okay, well, that's, you know. Well, your undergrad alma mater, Smith College, said they were open to exploring. Fuck Yale University. We're going to Smith. So estimates for construction are coming in at $300 million. Whoa. What? The money's out there. We just can't get our hands on it right now. I mean, can we reallocate some of the money from the Meyer Fund to the library? Oh, Absolutely, that's actually a yes. felony. So we just tell them that we have it all. And then we just shuffle papers around until it looks like we actually do. That's oh, also okay. a felony. I must say, I'm just blown away that you were able to raise so much money so quickly. Uh, you know what? I think we'd go buy a sweatshirt. Uh, sweatshirt. Yeah, that's what we call it in my family. Okay. Okay, so who's the big swinging dick at this fundraising game? You have three text messages from Helen Wright. Is that my phone? No, my pants didn't vibrate. Oh, that's me, sorry. I'll get to turn that off. <laughs> Do you want to hear the messages? No, no, it's okay. I did not recognize that command. No. You have to really enunciate. No. No. But I imagine she's texting uh, while riding her bicycle and sent it to me by mistake. Message. You came so much. Andrew, we ruined your wife's pretty office chair. I get so hot thinking of the president sitting in our love puddle. Call me after the fundraiser. That was a long one. She must be at a light. 
Well, I'll tell you something. The spreading of democracy is one of the cornerstones of my foundation. It is? So, he who hath betrayed me standeth before me now. Huh? Hello, Congressman Ryan. It's been a while. I am going to find ways to destroy you so hard that everybody at the Kennedy Center is going to take a fucking massive shit. It's really nice to see you. So I assume you're going to beg for your job back? It's a very kind offer, but I already have a better job working for President Meyer. Oh. I thought you knew that. Okay, you know what? I don't need you. I already have 434 brand new best friends, and we're all going to dinner tonight. And you're not invited. Sorry, Congressman Olin. Have fun. <laughs> You don't have a reservation in this hotel. Richard, I don't have a reservation. Well, you were a last minute addition to the trip, so it's possible oh, under that we didn't name? make one. Uh, Richard Splett? Hey, Congressman. Those new corduroys? They're new ish. Well, I know you probably have a lot of other offers, but uh, if not, you know, maybe uh, you and me could do something. Yeah, maybe. I, I guess I could move a couple things around. I don't know, the doorman told me about this really cool concert that he knew of. He said he thought I might like it. Well, luckily, the president gave me the rest of the night off so I could put on my tourist hat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's actually my favorite joke ever. This is fucking beast! Very interesting. Hey, put that on. All the cool guys wear the band's T-shirt. You know, this band's name translates to Panzer Division. What? Jesus, Beverly Christ, I'm starving. Do you want a juice box? Well, where was that an hour ago? Ma'am, what? We have a lead on a site for your library, Eastern Shore of Maryland. Fittingly, I lost my back virginity in acetic. I once lost my wallet in Denver. We need a down payment of five mil. Yeah, Ma'am, Tans at two o'clock. Where? No, ma'am, you have a meeting with Tans at two o'clock. Oh. Thank you very much, Richard. Yeah, President Mike. President Mike. And any idea who President Montez is considering for the open Supreme Court? No, 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 no. There is absolutely no validity to the rumor that the president is being considered for the seat. Do you mean President Meyer? Is that even a at this point? That's all we can say. What in the holy fuck was that, Mike? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I just habitually deny everything these days. The other day, I flushed a comb down the toilet. You know what I don't need is examples. I do want to hear the end of that, though. I'm sweating my balls off here. It's totally normal. Ma'am, I tried everyone on the finance committee. Yeah. And they all said no. All of them? They all said no very it fast. It would be a super left field choice, but what does this Super say left field? I mean, is that even a position? Mm -hmm. That was my position in Little League. I was a pitcher's helper. Oh. This isn't unprecedented either because President Taft was on the Supreme Court after he was president. Yeah, and what's the first thing you remember about him? Right. He got stuck in a bathtub? No, well, the second thing you remember about him. He was buried in a piano case. No, that's not right. Mom? Call Hallows and tell her Selena will meet with her next Monday. Yes. Ooh, Monday. It's the day after daylight saving time. It's my favorite holiday because it's like living in a tiny little version of Back to the Future. <laughs> time to go. Okay. Good luck. I'm fine. Get well soon. Thank you so much, Richard. What are you doing? I'm calling Jonah. No. Well, well, well. If it isn't the prodigal trader, come back home to suck on my giant congressional ball. Uh, no, it's Richard Splett. I'm calling on behalf of President Selena Meyer. You remember her. Uh, she's the former... Hold on, I have a more important call coming in. Oh, okay. Let's call waiting. This is Splett. Hey, buddy, help me out with the Selena Ross and Supreme's insanity. Apparently someone saw President Meyer's name on McPherson's call sheet, and he's the chair of the Judiciary Committee. I'm sorry, could you repeat everything after hey, buddy? Hello? Oh, better get back to Mr. Ryan. This is a human being you are making, not some Brooklyn-based artisanal chocolate bar. Birth gender isn't even that relevant. She, he will decide her, his ideal gender when she, he is already. Okay, is that how we're talking now, Marjorie? Like some sort of bi-curious porky pig? Badia, 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 I'm not doing that. I had an aunt who transitioned. Twice. She was trapped inside a man, and then that man was trapped inside of another woman. Oh, like a turducken. Mm -hmm. and for the vetting, yeah. the Judiciary Committee has asked to send them everything that you've ever written on abortion. Well, I can give them my actual abortion if I can find it lying around here somewhere. I'll check the freezer. Ma'am, New York Times says Montez is naming the nominee today. Yeah. Buzzfeed confirms. Oh my god, really? Yeah, we should be getting a phone call any minute. Oh, my heart is racing. Okay. I bet this time it's just menopause. <laughs> President Meyer's office. Ooh. Yeah, she's right here. 
That's Candy Caruso. Don't say that I'm here. You are here, though. Candy? Oh, here it is. Has nominated President Stuart Hughes for the Supreme Court seat left empty by the death of Justice Penny. This mark already... On the bright side, it's going to be an amazing new exhibit at the Hughes Library. Turn this off. Oh, oh, Richard, can Catherine and I speak with you for uh, a moment? Well, you're the boss. Richard, are there any hereditary issues that run in your family? Well, my father and I both hate eating butterscotch, but love to say it. Butterscotch. Sorry, why do you ask? Wow, I can't believe I'm going to be a father. A lot of responsibility. You just signed away all responsibility. I've never done this before. You just go in the room and uh, build uh, it. I've never shook the devil's hand. It, oh. You mean masturbate? Oh, self-husband. Does it hurt? Oh, no, no Richard. It, no, but it how, how is that Wait, possible? Really? Well, my family and I always pretty religious. Grandma Split always said that self-pleasure was a sin, like microwaves or laughter. Do you what? need a minute or? A... No, worst comes to worst, it burns hell like Grandma Split. Really, he has a, a really good heart. I'm sorry, I'm still understanding how the cup comes into play. Oh, you 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 just have to aim and, and what? I don't know how many of these I need to fill up. Yeah, no, you, you just have to do one. Just one, okay, yeah. I think that'll be easier. How will I know when I'm done? And, you know, I'll figure it out. Uh, I'll probably figure it out. Mom, Marjorie and I wanted Man, you guys to see be this. the first to tell you that we're pregnant. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! Mom, Look, I congratulations, congratulations grandma. grandma. Oh, yay! Maybe yeah. I can stop masturbating now. What are we going to do here? I mean, what is the opposite of a warlord? Mm. A peace lady? Yes. Thank you very much, Richard. Richard is thinking. He understands. Oh, you know, there's Domia Kaying. Oh, never mind. Huh. She was executed. Unless, right. no, that's crazy. Damn it, I'm roaming. I can't afford to roam. I gotta find a Boost Mobile store. You know, it's too bad we won't have time to see the camel races. They're saying that Hamalul could be the next Al Misk. So where are you taking us? Do we have a house arrest address or what? Oh, oh. okay. This goat has an ear infection. Nyring. There seems to be a problem with the plane. What? Yeah. You know that little animal that uh, Nathan Lane plays in Lion King? Oh, I love that guy. Okay. Uh, so three of those got caught in the engine. It's just incredible. Flying a thousand miles to Alabama. I mean, is anyone as shocked as I am that I'm doing this? Well, I'm easily shocked, so probably not the best person to ask. Here we are, my boyhood home. What? Hi, nice to and meet you. And you obviously are Richard. Because oh, of glasses, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mike and Amy texted that they had to head up to the National Archives. Okay, Richard, what do you know about jug bands? Everything. <laughs> You. <laughs> well, vice versa, ma'am. Everybody's gonna no. love this. Yeah. Ma'am, this doesn't seem right. No. Yeah, let's lose it. All right, losing the flag. No, 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 the birthday sign. Oh. So that was amazing. Yeah. Uh, as my father used to say, if that speech was a horse, it'd be a unicorn. <laughs> Magical. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put that rabbit story in the book. Actually, Amy's in charge of the book. No, Amy's not in charge of anything. Oh, I wish I had a pen. Oh, you know, I just remembered I have a photographic memory. So. Oh, perfect. 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 Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Good, good. You know, this band has been played together since the great uh, washboard feud. Is that so? Mm hmm oh. Beat my wife with a frying pan. It's even hotter today. Man, I got a text from Ambassador Jafar. He said he talked to Cordy, who said he took to you like a hog to persimmons. Is that a good thing? Well, they cause diarrhea in hogs. Uh, well, and I, Cordy said all that hollering was a hoot, and he wants to make a large donation to the library. Oh! A woman first, first woman. Yeah. It's a bit of a pun. No, it's not. A typo on the first page, the first what? sentence. From the moment I entered the, the White House. Is that a pun? Well, no. that's on you, Amy, because you were in charge of the book. That's Congratulations again, Amy. Richard, so good to see you. I missed you. Uh, welcome back, ma'am. Uh, also, Ambassador, ahala salam. Ana mashadda an limuddat arbit ayun. Now that's a pun. <laughs> ma'am, you are confirmed for tomorrow night for the Tonight Show to kick off the book tour. Yeah. Which again is tomorrow night, not tonight, despite the title. Okay. And you're doing the Today Show one week from yesterday. I've not mentioned in this book until page 134. I'm not in there until 213, and I wrote the book. <gasps> Ooh, page 93, suckers! Oh, yes! How about you, Richard? Did you make the book? Uh, just the dedication. You're talking about my eye job? <gasps> Chinese cover up over the tweet? This this isn't an article. This is a bang bang on a pinball machine. Who despises me like this? Well, there's President Montez, Tom James, the White Danny House Chung, maids, the Hallows, stewards, Maddox. white working class voters. I don't know. My diary is the source. Well, there's scans of it on the WAPO website. Oh, this is crystal clear. God, get out of here, you orange walrus, Judas! Whoa, 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 what are you drinking? This is Catherine's tea for her underparts. What? It's the tea for your underparts. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Jody, look, I have a special treat. Hello, <laughs> Thor Kong Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Come on. Oh, what are you even doing here? Well, your mom said you could use some sweat fab. So I brought you this. See, so, yeah, the box is empty, so that all you need to be happy is right here. 
Well, that's stupid. Ass ah, so waste of $30. Look, then. save your pity, Richard. In two years, I'm gonna run against my motard cousin Ezra. Two years is a long time. I mean, you could petition for a recall if they weren't unconstitutional. Wait, could I petition for a recall against Ezra? Uh, unequivocally, no. Oh my god, no, that's a great cannot. idea. That's awesome. Well, it was nice to see you. I guess I'll see myself out. Well, I don't know, as long as you're here. You wanna play? I'll let you be Aquaman, no tidal wave. Does a rabbit need yearly vaccination for mixed mitosis? It does. Well, maybe. It depends on the rabbit. Yes. Mom, can Richard stay the night? Can I please, Mrs. Ryan? Oh, sure, I'll make waffles for Rick. Mom, I don't want waffles. Okay, I then I won't please. make waffles. I mean, I am done. Ma'am, what? Leon West is here for your double secret meeting. Okay, you know what? Let's make him wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe give him some of that lesbian cooze potion. Okay, oh. I think all we have is bad coke in the fridge. But... That ain't the first time I spent 20 million on a piece of pussy. Oh, good on you, Cordy. <laughs> okay. Thank have you. Fun. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, absolutely. Let's, let's go, go get President on. Caldwell, please. On it, ma'am. Yeah. Jim. Madam President. There you are. Oh. This is a President of Yale, ma'am. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, ma'am. I think oh. her water just broke, ma'am. Good oh, Are you God, kidding me? I, I will be in touch. Yes. In the meantime, if you're trying to get out of town, don't take High Street. The KKK, that's the uh, cool queers of color, oh. is having a pee in in front of Skull and Bones. Got that. Thank you. I mean... Oh, wow. You went ahead without me. Maybe has my elbows. <laughs> Mom, where have you been? They're ready to send us home. Okay, well, Catherine, slaves have ruined my library, yeah. so you can stop attacking me. <laughs> you know okay. how busy your mother is, okay. Catherine. So what is it? What do we got? A boy or a girl? Well, if we're judging by sex organs, which apparently we're not, mm -hmm. it's a boy. Thank Just God. to hold him, Grandma? Oh, I'll take um, your purse. Yeah, Mama fine. ready to roll out? What are we calling him? Aluminum, Tenafly, <laughs> Ribbon? We haven't landed on a name yet. No, I don't mind Tenafly. You know, what oh. about Richard? That would be kind of cute, because then we could call him Little Richard. <gasps> Love. Now, it's actually named after my godmother, Richardina. Everybody's called her Regina. Oh, boy. You know what, actually, it probably wasn't named after her. Okay, well, I have a confession to make. Uh, both my daughter and my mother have struggled greatly with very serious mental health problems. What? I know, it runs in my family, too. Why was six afraid of seven? Because of my seven, eight, nine tax plan. You know what I always thought the funniest number was? Eleven. <laughs> Guy's such a douche narc. That's your stepfather? Yeah, he thinks he can just come down here and bask in my New York success just because he's my wife's dad. Wait, I'm so he's your wife's dad. You said he was your stepdad. Yeah, that's my stepsister. Did you guys not know that? Oh no. Oh. Oh, 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 no, no. Yeah, her dad married my mom for like a year when I was 11. <laughs> You're killing me, sir. Well, it is such an honor to be here in Lurleen. I mean, even the name sounds like it's on meth. Who in their right mind would live in this ashtray's inks? Well, me. I was lucky enough to be born here. What? You were from Lurleen? I just didn't want to brag. Bolsters are roasters, my grandma split would always say. Uh, she had a form of rhyming dementia. It's called Lindrum syndrome. Really? Uh, I bet she made that up. Oh, okay. It's showtime at the Baby Apollo. Let's go. Hey, Richard, is chocolate bad for dogs? Oh, no, not bad. Oh, okay. Deadly. What? Hello, Lily. <laughs> Richard, you can't keep working on both campaigns. But they're both equally good people. Isn't there someone that can both be president? Fortunately, no. Jonah, even more women are stepping forward to say they never dated you. The not me hashtag blowing up big time. It's a goddamn movement. Well, the good news is uh, our approval rating in New Hampshire is skyrocketing. Yeah? Oh, wait, wait hold that thought. It's upside down. Maybe we should reopen the Iowa office. Mrs. Ryan, any comment? I stand behind these brave, unattractive women who have come forward to say not me. You know, once upon a time, back in high school, I too did not date Jonah Ryan. Although, I did go out with his super handsome cousin, Ezra. Uh, and it's important to note that they only got to third base. Thank you. No comment. Oh, check out BuzzFeed. Looks like we're not the only campaign who farted and had to throw their pants away. Selena Meyer just outed Felix Wade. Oh, oh and there's another hashtag trending. Utan. I know that's upside down. Still not me. You should lock your screen, dude. Yeah. So nice to be back home in Iowa. Place is a dump. Got new polls from New Hampshire. Seems yeah, you just left yesterday, but your numbers are already way up. Yeah? Oh, no, wait, actually. Oh, yeah, that's right, way up. Oh, nice. Ah, maybe I should just stop campaigning altogether. <laughs> Couldn't hurt. Oh, hey, there are some more boxes in the car. Will you grab those? Yeah, I'm happy to. Oh, remember, lift with your back. It's your legs. L legs. No, you lift with your back. Oh, that's incorrect. Okay, well. That could probably be the main cause of your scoliosis. I have scoliosis? Oh, yes. A 
Ma'am, Kemi just picked up two senators and a union. A good union or like teachers? Local 74, Iowa asbestos workers. Wow. Okay. Well. There you go. <laughs> Actually, my uncle's a shop steward in the 74. Asbestos killed him. Oh, no. Oh. I'm sorry, Richard. Asbestos was the name of their pit bull. Is a rescue that killed his first owner. That's why you have to go to breeders. Okay, order, order. First item, debate prep. Uh, thank you to Date Rape University. Okay. First question. Okay. Madam President, how do you explain the accusations the Meyer Fund and your husband, Andrew Meyer, oh, stole millions you know, during... Andrew Meyer's my ex-husband. Yep. So much for debate prep. Oh, actually, that was our best one yet. <sighs> Richard, you're running yourself ragged working on both campaigns. I'm actually a little embarrassed. I mean, two jobs is no big deal. In fact, it's a spelt family motto. Splent. I spelt. It's my mother's side of the family. I think you should definitely quit Selena. I would if I could. Actually, I tried to quit last week, and the president gave me a raise. So quit Jonah. He gave me a raise, too. Tax plan is a whack plan. Psych. Ah, ah, undisputed president of the United States. I'm Jonah Ryan, and I want to suck this message's hot clam. Me too. When do we roll that out? The debate committee just emailed me to say that there are so many candidates that they've decided to host two separate debates. One for candidates polling with at least 5% of the vote, and another one for those polling with less than 5%. And good news. Uh, no way, that's bad news. I'm at less than 5%? Well, you know, in the plus column, the undercard debate will be first, which means we have no problem getting out of the parking lot. And, oh, no, that's bad news, too. It's uh, stacked parking. Jesus, hashtag Christ. Do we even have an app? Of course we do, man. The current version only asks for donations and for some reason delete your address <laughs> book. Technically, it's more of a virus. I had it, but I had to delete it because it was making my phone hot. This is a pretty good turnout for a dog funeral. I mean... Even the governor's here. Who are all these people? Novelty mayors are Iowa's number one source of tourism after tornado chasing and coming in town to buy Sudafed. Is that a mayor as well? Oh, no, no, it's just a cat. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> this isn't Nebraska. Richard, can I speak with you after the service? Uh, of course, Judge. Uh, how's the search for the new successor? Sadly, the mayor was fixed and cloning was too expensive. That's what I want to talk to you about. Would you like me to neuter the new mayor? Hey, I think that went pretty well, right? Well, I just got here, so I'm gonna say yes. I want you to add the Dalai Lama to this list because I'm gonna be the only stiff at my funeral. Uh, okay. Madam President, Congressman Ryan, I'm glad you're both here. It seems I have been appointed the new mayor of Lurleen. Oh, oh Mayor Splizzle in the hizzle. Wow, all right. But don't you have to be a dog? Well, legally, yes, but it's unenforceable. But sadly, I have to tell you that I can no longer work for your presidential campaign. Oh, oh of course. I'll be oh, sorry to lose you. Uh, me too. Hmm? So how's uh, little Richard doing with salad foods? Don't ask me, ask her. Apparently she's in charge of him now. Catherine, please don't do this. You stole our baby and you took him to church. He saw a male Jesus. When my uncle stole me, I don't remember where he took me, but I do have this recurring dream where I almost find out. Richard, what's that noise? Oh, it's just a crop duster. Please look like pretty low. You said pretty Not that low. Oh, sweet male Jesus. Richard, Richard, are you okay? Reporting from Lurleen, Iowa, where earlier today an airplane crashed into the local 7-Eleven. Miraculously, there were no fatalities due in no small part to the heroics of Lurleen's own mayor, Richard Splett. Mayor Splett, what happened? Uh, well, a crop duster clipped the power line and I uh, bumped into a local 7-Eleven. We're working with FEMA to bring in emergency supplies of cigarettes. I've never been more proud I taught that man to ejaculate into a cup. Hello everyone, I'm Mike McClintock and Mick, welcome to the first episode of McClintock. I mean talk. Today I have a BuzzFeed exclusive. We are getting the first national interview with Lurleen Iowa's dog mayor, who it turns out is not a dog, but a human. Mayor Richard Splett, are you there? Hi, Mike. Uh, big fan of the show. Mayor Splett, how does it feel to be the hero of 7-Eleven? Oh, I'm no hero. I'm just a mayor who now temporarily has a slurping machine in his office. I well, need my iPad. <sighs> mayor Splett, did you realize what you were doing was so courageous? Oh, uh, good question. Thank you. It's actually Wendy's. I guess I just did what anybody would do if they were there. Except for the people who were there and didn't do anything. Well, you heard it here first. Stick around for more McClintock with Mike McClintock. Mayor Splett, do you consider yourself a hero? Uh, Sit your hawk asses down. Not you, Richard. I'm gonna pick one of you minimum wage media monkeys to ask three pre-approved questions pre-written by me, and she's gonna owe me for the rest of her life. And yes, I said she, and I don't mean you. No, well, let's say I got here not a moment too soon. Because President Meyer fired you? All right, look, Richard, we have an incredible opportunity here. 
Mr. Mayor, the Lieutenant Governor still wants to set up a time for your award ceremony. Oh, Willa, this is uh, Dan Egan, my new Chief of Staff. Sure. Uh, Dan, there's no easy way to say this, but uh, given your reputation, there's no dipping your quill in the company ink. Copy that. I mean sex. Got it. By that I mean Willa. March, we'll write Medal of Bravery. Mayor Richard Splett of Lurleen demonstrated Sorry, Mayor Splett, this is Sidney Purcell. He represents the very good people at Con Ag Chem Family Farms. Ah, well, this man needs no introduction. Please, the 7-Eleven mayor himself. Oh, would you care to join us? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. It's a great idea. You know, I'm actually really glad that I happened to run into you. There is a vote coming up in the state senate uh, regarding pesticide regulations. That's right. And th there's an empty seat up there. Do you know anything about pesticides? Not as much as I'd like. That empty seat in the state senate, I mean, it could be yours. You know, down at the feed store, yeah. they're saying your new seeds cause cancer. Well, we've paid for seven studies that say that it doesn't. Seven? Yeah. Wow, seven. Oh, it's good enough for me. Lucky I mean, seven. You <laughs> can't argue with science, can you? <laughs> That's right. Well, sure. I'm gonna get some drinks. You guys stay here, talk, get to know each other. You know what I want, right, Dan? What do you want, Mayor? Well, to read those reports, this has been a very difficult decision, but no, I will not be running for state senate. There's just so many things I still want to do for the good people here in Lurleen, like my own pet issue, which, as many of you know, is pet issues. And I certainly hope I'm not letting anyone down, especially my new friend, Sydney. Are you referring to Sydney yeah. Purcell, the you know what, Con Ag Chem fam car I'm lobbyist? I'm so sorry that you don't have any time for more questions. Uh, actually, Dan, that did some of your question. Yes, Sydney Purcell, the super generous guy, offered me all sorts of great stuff, like <laughs> brand new kitchen appliances, okay, really or sorry. a brand new hot tub really like the Lieutenant we Governor has. Oh, but I'm not supposed to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Mayor Slay, are you saying that Con Ag Chem made you an offer to no, run for office? No, no, that's not what he said. He didn't uh, say that. No, 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 uh, Dan is right. Thank you. Uh, Sydney made the offer. Con Ag Chem is a company, can't talk. <laughs> Hilarious little talking company. Go. <laughs> Where would the mouth even be? More than a dozen Iowa government officials are in hot water. The lieutenant governor, along with several state senators, have all been arrested for accepting improper campaign contributions from Con Ag Chem Family Farms. Bye-bye, Sydney. Dan, I'm glad you're here. Uh, the governor called. He wants me to resign as mayor effective immediately. What? You didn't do anything wrong. That's what he said. He's appointing me the new lieutenant governor. Yes, Richard, that is what I'm talking about, you see? Stick with me, right? Oh, uh, now that we're moving to Des Moines, Willa is fair game, and DTF. That particular light is flare up. So if you go out to eat, you can only have rice. Welcome to your new office, Lieutenant Governor Split. Here we go. Wait, what? No. This is where you stick an unfuckable intern. Oh, no, no, no. When I was a summer intern for Lieutenant Governor Plasco back in the seventh grade, I was in a much bigger office. We gotta get the morbidly obese fuck out of Iowa. I mean, last night I tried to find one non-chain restaurant to eat at, and Yelp basically told me to go foot rucker myself. That sounds like a settings issue. Okay, now listen, we gotta get you national, Richard, okay? So that's why I've already booked you on my Clintock. And I canceled it. Oh, Governor Ballantyne. You think you're hot shit, Splat? First human mayor of Lurleen, straight to lieutenant governor in just a few months. Thank you. Well, now you're an ice-cold dog turd because you're not getting my job. Governor, we have the utmost Art, respect. Save it, Manhattan date rape mystery. Splat, I'm gonna bury you so deep in bullshit make work, people are gonna forget Iowa even has a lieutenant governor. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Governor, it's so nice of you to come with us to comfort Jonah. And Jonah Ryan has as much chance of becoming president as a stack of retarded raccoons in a trench coat, but if anyone's crawling out of our cesspool of a state to become his Heck, it's gonna be this pig fucker. You know, I didn't realize that was a job requirement. Oh, what? I gave my dad chicken pox? Second time. Oh, now I can really see the family resemblance. Oh, oh two oh. generations of scabs, yo. Fuck me with a side of ranch. See you back at the office, Governor. Yeah, well. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mom, will you make us some pancakes? Ooh, a banana pancake. Yeah, banana pancakes. Oh, well, you know, I don't think I have any eggs. Oh. Uh, oh. Go to the store <laughs> to make pancakes. Yes. Pancakes. 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 Pancakes.
brought you some flowers. Word is out on you, Splat. You're living proof that the worst people in politics always succeed. I'll tell you something else, Splat. Listen carefully. Someday you'll be an old man and you'll... Governor Splat. Governor, now that you're a superdelegate, have you given any thought as to who you're going to be endorsing at the convention? Isn't there any way I can endorse all of them? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. I've fielding media requests all morning, Richard. The keynote speech was such a hit. New York Times, Krugman is positively creaming his khakis. Oh, amazing speech last night, Governor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What state are you a delegate from? Ukraine. A Wisconsin sister state. Can I get a photo with you, please, now? Sure. <laughs> Absolutely not. Thank you, though. How about I want to you two? No, that's oh, fine. Sound good? No? No, that's fine. Oh, we'll, so we'll, sorry your wife couldn't make the convention conference. We have to go. Let's go. Okay. Good seeing you. Enjoy the convention. <laughs> What are you guys doing here? You're here to see me get interviewed by Mike on CBS News? Oh, I wish. But I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got to go be interviewed by Mike on CBS. Guess means he's been bumped. Although, you know what? ABC News is doing a piece on presidential also rans who can almost suck their own dicks. So while you're in makeup, why don't you go talk to them? Oh, like you've never tried. I'm probably gonna need that, Mike. You came to the convention as Governor Richard Splett of Iowa. But after your electrifying speech just two nights ago, party insiders are calling you Richard Splett, future of the party. Honestly, I'm glad that what I said resonated with folks. Plus, it gave me a chance to break out my ASL skills, you know, for the deaf American delegates. Yeah. All right, let's talk turkey, Governor. Oh, wonderful pets. What about all these rumors that Senator Talbot is talking to you about a position in her administration? You know, when you listen to rumors, you rue more than... Nope, I don't know where I was going with that. Worse than sign language. Very cagey. Jane, back to you. All clear. Oh, thanks for having Appreciate me. it. Richard, that was fantastic. Oh, Us Weekly wants to do a piece on you. 25 things that no one knows about you. Well, number ones, I love lists. Oh, oh. oh hey, Ben. Oh, oh sorry, Captain. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Oh. At least he's getting some oh. exercise. Oh, yes. <laughs> Politico is reporting that Jonah's talking to you about the Secretary yeah, of Commerce. Speech, Governor. I wish. Sounds yeah. much better than the conversation we were having about why his urine is pink. We ruled out beats because he doesn't know what those are. Then had to rule it right back in for the same reason. Oh, Richard, look, there was no offer, okay? It, it was me. I, I pulled that turd out of my ass, covered it in ketchup, and Politico asked for seconds. You could have ended that sentence at me. Right, listen, the one thing is clear after this runaway Ferris wheel of a convention, and that's that Montez is going to be president for another four years. Well, it makes sense. She made me proud to be an American again. Okay, but after that, it's split time. Oh, we can't call it that, unless we want to get sued by Monkle's podcast. To make the world a safer, cleaner, better place. Yeah! So? <laughs> what did we get? President Meyer offered me Secretary of Agriculture. Yes, Richard! <laughs> Secretary of Swagger Culture, oh my god. Yes, going back to Washington, baby. Uh, but. No, no buts, Richard. Okay, for once in your life, don't think so much. Just say yes. Yes. Good man. But the but was, but you have to fire Dan. So, I guess you're fired. What? Thanks for making this easy. Oh, I gotta get out of politics. Now, to be honest, I never thought you were really cut out for it anyway. Good afternoon, I'm Michael McClintock with live coverage of the funeral of Selena Meyer. And here comes President of the United States, Richard Splett, and the First Lady, Annette Splett. Somber but elegant, basking in the glow of a landslide re-election following President Splett's historic three-state solution Middle East peace agreement, for which he won the Nobel Prize. 